Clash of Ideas, Understanding Diverse Perspectives. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting and important phrase, clash of ideas. This phrase is commonly used in English to describe situations where different opinions or beliefs come into conflict. Understanding this phrase will not only expand your vocabulary but also help you grasp the nuances of English conversations, especially in debates or discussions. So, let's get started. Clash of ideas refers to a situation where different thoughts, opinions, or perspectives are in opposition or conflict with each other. It's often used in contexts like debates, discussions, or even in situations where people are trying to solve a problem but have different viewpoints. The word clash here implies a collision or conflict, not necessarily physical, but in terms of thoughts or beliefs. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday conversations. For instance, when people with different political views discuss a policy, they might experience a clash of ideas. Or, in a business meeting, when team members propose different strategies for a project, that's also a clash of ideas. These examples show how this phrase is versatile and applicable in various scenarios. Understanding and recognizing a clash of ideas is crucial in communication. It highlights that differences in opinion are normal and can be constructive. When there's a clash of ideas, it often leads to deeper discussions, critical thinking, and can even result in innovative solutions. So, embracing this concept is key to effective communication and collaboration. How do you handle a clash of ideas? Firstly, listen actively to understand the other perspectives. Respectful dialogue is crucial. It's also important to articulate your ideas clearly and considerately. Sometimes, finding common ground or agreeing to disagree can be the best outcome. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, clash of ideas, and its significance in communication. Remember, encountering a clash of ideas is a part of learning and growing, especially in a language as diverse and dynamic as English. Keep exploring, and don't shy away from expressing your ideas. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.